okay, in this chapter, we're going to talk about converting units. Okay, so the main idea in converting units is uh, for kilometers, which is uh, measure, measurement for distance. Okay, one kilometer gives you 1,000 meters. One kilogram, which is a uh, uh, unit and measurement for uh, weight. Okay, one kilogram gives you 1,000 grams. Liters, okay, this is uh, the symbol for liters. Okay, one liter gives you 1,000 milliliters. Okay, this is a uh, unit for volume. Okay, uh, the, like for example, the amount of water in a beaker or amount of water in a bottle, for example. Okay, and uh, one thing to note is that uh, for meters, okay, you can see here one meter equals only 100 centimeters. Okay, so um, for the most of the conversions that you'll be using is that uh, one kilometer, which is the bigger unit, okay, actually gives you uh, 1,000 of the smaller unit. Like, for example, uh, for kilometer, okay, one kilometer gives you 1,000, 1,000, which is three zeros, 1,000 meters. Okay, so the bigger unit, it gets you 1,000 of the smaller units. So, the same for kilograms. The bigger unit gives you 1,000 of the smaller unit. And for liters, 1 liter gives you 1,000 milliliters. But for meter, okay, it's a bit different. Okay, um, for meter, it only gives you 100 of the smaller unit. Why 100? Don't ask me why. It's, uh, just, uh, it's just a convention that we have been using uh, all the while. And, uh, you know, it's, it's just uh, the way it is. Okay, and uh, just memorize it that way. Alright, and um, uh, one tip to give you is that uh, the easy way to uh, remember it is that um, whenever you see a K, okay, whenever you see a K here, okay, so for KM, okay, K, K actually means 1000, okay, so it's like three zeros, alright, so 1KM gives you 1000 meters, 1 kg gives you 1,000 grams. Okay, so the K gives you, I mean, actually tells you, give you a hit that is 1,000. But whereas for liter, okay, uh, there is uh, no easy way for me to, I mean, uh, for me to teach you how to memorize it. You just have to memorize that 1 liter actually gives you 1,000 milliliters. Okay, so I say again, most of uh, what you'll be using is actually for, for the bigger unit, the smaller unit, right? It's actually, uh, in thousands, but for the meter, okay, it's actually one meter is hundred centimeters. And uh, another thing to note is that uh, one example, okay, of uh, using K is actually like uh, for money, okay. So let's say, for example, a car, okay, costs uh, like let's say I don't know, a uh, hundred and fifty thousand dollars, okay. So um, a lot of uh, people, when uh, they talk about $150,000, okay, it's quite a mouthful, right? As in, you, you, you need to uh, say 150000 which is such a long way of uh, I mean, of describing 150000 Okay, a lot of people just simply say 150 k So, um, what does 150 k mean? Okay, so this K, as I was telling you, it means 1000 so it's three zeros, right? So it's one, two, three. So instead of hundred, uh, saying or writing hundred and fifty thousand like that, okay, um, uh, people actually write it as or say as hundred and fifty k, okay, in replacement. So the k replaces the three zeros here. 